Back at the Plano Center at the Primetime Sports National Championship Expo, Josh Haley with you, and pleased to have Simi Colson with us. Uh, Simi, glad to have you here, and uh, the owner of Girls Prep Report. Tell us a little bit about, about what you do. I operate a scouting service and a recruiting service, uh, basically for the girls in Texas and the surrounding states. And what I try to do is identify players that can play at the next level. Uh, I've done a lot of things with Primetime, Primetime has a lot of kids that other people probably will not see that can play ball in college. And that's my job to go out and see kids who can play in college. You're always going to have that elite group of players that are going to go to school anywhere, uh, anyway. But uh, it, it's a number of kids that can play that might not be seen. That's what I try to do. And it seems like there's so many stories out there that. Uh you know, players, they, they fall through the cracks. They, they don't go to the right school or uh, they're not playing on a competitive team or something like that. They have the skill set to go to the next level, but just because nobody is able to locate them, uh, they end up falling through the cracks, and that's kind of what you're looking for. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I'm looking for. With, uh, with the primetime sports, there's over 800 total teams here, and half of those uh, typically turn out to be girls' teams. So needless to say, uh, the national championship, a huge event for you. Yes, it is, and uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, this is my third year covering the event. I've seen some of uh, some very, very talented players that I've helped get in college through the prime time that nobody knew about. Uh, some of them went to Cole, a couple of them went to D1, but the bottom line is that they went somewhere, and they wouldn't go anywhere had we not even ran into each other. I'm sure that uh, you've had a lot of grateful parents uh, to your service for what you do because I think there's so many parents out there that uh, whether it's their oldest child or maybe the first one they've had that's, that's been an athlete, they have no idea how the college recruiting process works or how to even get their child noticed, and that's where you can step in. You're exactly right. A lot of people don't realize, but on my website, I have stats. The NCAA has put out something that states that 5% of high school athletes go on to play college ball. So they don't understand how competitive it is. They think if you do this and you do that, that's a lot going to to college. But that's not really how it works. And again, these kids, a lot of kids that can play simply fall through the cracks because they're not put out in the right position. So. How many, uh, how many, like you mentioned, the, the, there's so many elite players out there that uh, they're guaranteed they're going to go wherever they want, they're going to get noticed. But uh, what, what kind of things do you look for uh, at a tournament like this? I, I've heard one recruiter say, you know, I'm looking at players three, four, and five on a team as opposed to one and two because those could be the ones that maybe have the most potential, but nobody's ever seen it. Well, you know, on the girls' side, it's a little bit different. And I don't count anybody out. I look at all positions, and I look basically at the skill set, like the guard, the decision making, and, you know, if it's wing, how athletic they are, or, you know, basically understand the game. And if a girl is over six feet, athletic, and can finish, she's almost guaranteed to spot someone. I mean, that's just the way it is for us. To this day, I guarantee you, over the last two weeks, I've had at least 10 colleges email me about girls over six feet because somebody fell for And these are kids that have graduated. So that's another thing that I'll be looking, looking for in prime time for some 2014 that you know, just didn't make it. And I might be able to help them get some. So for your business, it's about uh, it's about finding those players that, that you feel like have the ability to go to the next level. And you mentioned this isn't your first time to the prime time sports national championship. So Hopefully that means in the past uh, you've been given reason to come back here, meaning you've found some good players here. I have found a lot of good players, a lot of great players. I saw Lauren Cox. Lauren Cox is ranked number one in the country uh, the class of 2016. I saw her as, a, as an eighth grader, and right then I could identify, I knew she would be one of the girls. So saying all that, Lauren Cox made the USA team. Another kid I saw in eighth grade when I first came here was Natalie Child, another 2016. She also made the USA team. Those kids have been offered by everybody, and they started right here. So needless to say, a uh, pretty good foundation then for a lot of these kids to not only get noticed, but maybe to take the next step in their in their basketball dreams. That's right. Simi, tell, uh, tell our viewers how they could get in contact with you and uh, how they could find out some more about what you do. Girlsprepreport.com. That's girls with a C, prep 
And uh, there are specific sites uh, dedicated to the girls' divisions here at the national championships. Uh, do you have a plan of which site you'll be at, or will you just kind of be bouncing around at the different sites? I'll bounce around from day to day. I'll start off with high school girls at IAD. On day two, I'll be at the field house because I promised the younger kids, a lot of the parents want their kids out there. So the third grade through the seventh grade, I'll be cover I'll be out, the out at the field house all day covering those kids. On Saturday, I'll swing by the eighth grade and do that for half the day, and then I'll come back to the IAD for the uh, second half Saturday and all day Sunday. All right. Well, Simi, uh, I think it's a great thing what you do, and like I say, so many parents I'm sure will will find it beneficial as well. It's great to have you here, and hopefully we'll catch up with you before the tournament's Thank over. You so much pleasure, Josh. Simi Colson of Girls Prep Report. We'll be back with much more here from the Plano Center at the Primetime Sports National Championship Expo.